Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here today and welcome to week four of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. Today we are going to crochet our way across New Brunswick. Uh, New Brunswick is a province in Canada that borders along with uh, uh, along Quebec and Nova Scotia. And one of the things that it's known for is that it is over 80% or just about 80% forest. So today's panel, I have chosen a raised ripple stitch, which to me kind of uh, gives this effect of little trees kind of on a hillside which reminds me of New Brunswick. So today we are going to work on uh, on this panel of raised ripple stitches. For this panel you are going to require your worsted weight yarn and the complete list of materials for this project as a whole can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. While you're there, please check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, as you're here with me, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I like to update weekly with new crochet patterns. And of course, this crochet along, the great Canadian landscapes crochet along. So today I will be using a worsted weight yarn in a dark green along with a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now I am not going to crochet the entire panel here for you, but I will give you a swatch so that you know uh, how to work the stitch and you can apply it to the pattern there on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. You can find the links for these in the notes of this video. So for this panel, you will begin to by chaining 147 stitches. Now, if you would like to change the size of this panel, as I will be today, you will need, an, for your starting chain, an odd number of stitches plus two. So knowing that information, you can change your panel to any side you, size you'd like. You will need an odd number of stitches plus two. So today I'm going to start by chaining 17, which will give you an idea of how to work this stitch pattern. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So once you have uh, chained the number of stitches you desire, or as according to the pattern, you've chained 147 chains, you are going to begin by placing one double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook and in each stitch cross. So count from your hook one, two, three, four. Place your first double crochet stitch and then double crochet in each chain all the way across to the end. At the end of your first row, you are going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. For row two, you are simply going to single crochet in the first stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Single crochet in your first stitch and then in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end, you will remember you will have skipped those first three chains. This uh, three chains at the beginning of that first row and at the beginning of each of the rows following this always counts as a stitch. So remember to work your final stitch in the top of that chain three. At the end of row two, you will chain three this counts as a double crochet stitch 
and you're going to turn your work. Now we're going to start working some of that raised texture that you saw at the very beginning there uh, in the panel that I showed you. So your first chain three, it always counts as a stitch and it counts as a double crochet stitch. The next thing you'll be asked to do is you're going to skip that first stitch. So that's the stitch you worked your chain three out of. So this is your first stitch, you're going to skip that first stitch. You are also going to skip the second stitch, the second single crochet, but instead you're going to work a front post triple crochet around the post of the double crochet down below. So you've skipped the first and the second single crochet, but you're going to work a triple crochet around the post of the double crochet below. So to work your triple, you're going to yarn over twice. You're going to around the post of that double crochet below, insert your hook from right to left around the post. You're going to yarn over and complete the triple crochet as you would a triple crochet worked in the top. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And that is your front raised triple crochet. Next, you will double crochet in the next stitch. So looking in behind, you can see there's that, those first two stitches, single crochet that you skipped. So you're going to place your double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat. You're going to place a triple crochet yarn over twice. You're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to place your raised triple stitch around the post of the next double crochet. So there's one. There'll always be one double crochet in between each raised stitch. Double crochet that you've skipped and now this one here right to left around the post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two more. Then double crochet in the top of the next stitch. So you're kind of working in two rows at a time as you go. Yarn over twice, so down here skip, that next double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, sorry, in the next one around the post. And you're going to continue that pattern all the way across your work. So double crochet in the top of the next stitch and triple crochet around the post of the next double crochet down below. Again, remember you will always have one skipped double crochet down below and up top you will always have one skipped single crochet in between each double crochet. Double crochet, triple, all the way across your work. When you come to your last stitch, you will simply work one double crochet. And that is the end of row three. For row four, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to work back and work one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row four, remember to single crochet in the top of your starting chain three. And then you're ready to begin row five. For row five, you are going to chain three and turn your work. Remember that that chain three counts as a stitch. And now we're going to work another row of this raised ripple stitch. However, here we are going to want to stagger 
our raised triple crochet stitches. So we have our chain three coming out of the top of this first stitch. So we're going to skip that one and we're going to work a double crochet in the next single crochet. So just one double crochet in the next single crochet. Then you will skip the next single crochet, but working around the post of the double crochet below it, insert your hook and work one triple crochet. And then follow that with your double crochet in the next stitch. Triple crochet in the, so skip the next stitch and you're going to triple crochet in the stitch beneath it in that double crochet around the post and then double crochet in the next stitch. Triple in the double crochet down below and double crochet in the top of the next stitch. So repeat that all the way across and you will see that you are staggering those front raised triples. When you come to your last stitch, you are simply going to place one double crochet in that final stitch. So if you take a look at your work, you can see that you now have your raised ripple stitches that are staggered. And you're going to simply continue to repeat rows two to five. So the single crochet row and then a raised ripple row single crochet and then that last raised ripple row that we did. You're going to repeat that until your work measures approximately nine inches or a little bit less. Once you have done that, head on over to the written pattern on my blog and there you will find the instructions on how to work the edging, which is the same edging that you've been working on all of the panels thus far. Okay, so thank you once again so much for joining me on this crochet along journey across Canada with the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting! Bye!